Hi, I'm Julie and this channel is Happy on Monday. In this video, I'm going to share what the rule of 55 is and how it works for early retirees. Certain tax deferred retirement accounts like 401ks or 403bs have rules about when you can access the funds. If you withdraw money before you're 59 and a half, you get a 10% penalty. But there's a way to take distributions a few years early without penalty. This is the rule of 55. If you're thinking about early retirement, you should know how the rule of 55 works. I've read about and heard people talking about the rule of 55, but I never thought about it too seriously because I always figured I'd retire at 59 and a half or older. Now that I'm aiming for 58 and a half, I decided to look further into it. I'd rather not pull from my retirement accounts if I don't have to. But I also don't want to use up all my cash in bucket number one. So while I don't plan to use this rule of 55, I always like to know what all of my options are. Knowledge is power. With the rule of 55, you can withdraw funds from your current jobs 401k or 403b without penalty if you leave that job when you're 55 or older. It doesn't matter whether you were laid off, fired, retired, or just quit. The distributions won't be completely tax-free. You do have to pay the normal income tax because these are tax-deferred accounts. But the 10% tax penalty is avoided. Yay! The rule applies to your current 401k and or 403b accounts. The IRS does not allow penalty-free withdrawals before 59 and a half from accounts you had with a previous employer. If you want to access that money under the rule of 55, you'd have to transfer it to your current 403b or 401k accounts. You can only take those penalty-free early withdrawals from the plan you were contributing to at the time you left your job. The money in other retirement plans must stay untouched until you're 59 and a half if you want to avoid those penalties. If you're thinking about retiring early, you'll need money to live on. Unless you have a lot of money in savings accounts and other after-tax investments, you might want or need to consider using the rule of 55 to make withdrawals. There are a few rules you need to follow to take these withdrawals early. Rule number one, you must leave your job in the calendar year you turn 55 or later. The rule of 55 doesn't apply if you leave your job at, say, age 52. You must leave your job after you turn 55. You also can't retire earlier than 55 and then take withdrawals once you turn 55. It doesn't work that way. But if you're a public safety employee, it's age 50. Public safety employees get an extra five years. Police officers, firefighters, EMTs, and air traffic controllers are all public safety employees. Rule number two, you must leave your job to start taking withdrawals. But you can actually return to work later you aren't locked into retiring forever. You can keep withdrawing from your 401k even if you get another job later. Let's say you turn 55 and retire from your job. You decide you want to take penalty-free withdrawals using the rule of 55. So you begin to take withdrawals from that employer's plan. Later, at say age 58, you decide you want to get a part-time job. You can keep taking distributions from your old plan as long as it was the 401k you were contributing to when you left your job at age 55. But you can't have rolled it over into another plan or IRA. Rule number three, you can only withdraw from your most recent 401k plan for the rule of 55 to work. 
the balance must stay in your employer's 401k or 403b plan while you're taking early withdrawals. Also, employers are not required to allow you to take early withdrawals. If they do allow them, they may require that the entire amount be taken out in one lump sum withdrawal. This could result in a higher income tax. Oh no! Oh, no. If you meet the requirements for all these rules, then the rule of 55 might be a good fit for you. To start taking these withdrawals, you have to prove to your plan administrator that you qualify. Double check to make sure your plan meets the requirements. You might consider consulting a financial advisor or tax professional before you begin to take withdrawals. The timing of your early withdrawals is important. If you were employed for most of the year and had a higher income, then it makes sense not to take withdrawals during that calendar year. This would add to your total income for the year and could put you in a higher tax bracket. Uh -oh. If I retire in August, for example, I would want to wait until January to start taking withdrawals. The best strategy may be to use other savings or take withdrawals from after-tax investments until the next calendar year. This would help keep you in a lower tax bracket. I have a video about staying in a lower tax bracket that I'll link in the description below in case you're interested. The rule of 55 allows you to take money out of your employer's retirement plan without a tax penalty before age 59 and a half. But that doesn't necessarily mean you should. Hmm. It depends on your goals and your financial situation. Will you have a pension? Will you be able to draw from taxable investment accounts? Can you use savings accounts, CDs, or other investments to cover your expenses? Even if you're eligible to withdraw money penalty-free from your 401k or 403b, consider it carefully. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. If you're taking money out of your retirement accounts, it can no longer accumulate those compounding returns. If you retire early and you need those distributions to live on, then it could make sense. But if you get another job or find another way to cover costs, then it might not make sense to draw down your retirement account. Also be aware your employer might roll your 401k over to an IRA once the balance drops below $5,000. You won't lose the money, but it could end up being in an IRA that you didn't choose. If you plan to retire early, but don't think you'll need to tap into your 401k yet, consider what you might do with it. Leaving it with your employer to continue growing is one option. Rolling it over to an IRA is another option. Before making a decision, it's important to consider factors such as fees, investment options, and your overall retirement strategy. The more thought you put into how and when you'll need to use those assets ahead of time, the better you can position yourself for a financially sound early retirement. Thanks for joining me. If you found this helpful, please like. And if you're interested in early retirement, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to leave you with a quote. Look for something positive every day, even if some days you have to look a little harder. Hope to see you again soon.